In this video we'll cover the latest new and exciting features of PicoScope 6, which now includes Windows 7 support. We'll start off by demonstrating the Auto Arrange Axes feature, then the Editable Rulers, Undo Zoom button, the Home button, the AWG Undo or Redo buttons, the Normalize button, and finally changes to the file formats. Let's start by loading some predefined settings to explore these new features. As you can see on the screen, we have three waveforms. What we'd like to do is to separate them. We can do this by simply right-clicking and selecting Auto Arrange Axes. It's just taken us two clicks to separate these waveforms. The next feature I want to demonstrate is the editable rulers. Let's start by dragging in a couple of rulers. What this allows us to do is to type in the exact value that we require for each of the rulers into the ruler legend. So let's start by typing in minus 1.25 for the first ruler. As you can see it's altered there. And minus 250 microseconds for the second ruler and it's given us a difference of 1000 microseconds. You'll also notice that the bottom right hand corner is the addition of the RPM measurement. The next feature I want to demonstrate is the addition of the undo zoom button which becomes active once we start zooming in. This allows us to go through all our previous zooms The fourth feature I want to demonstrate is the addition of the Home button. This allows us to load the startup settings. So if I click on it, you can see that we've reverted back to our initial status. Let's look at these features and start by drawing a waveform. Immediately, as you can see, the Undo button becomes active. If we now click on the Undo button, the Redo button now becomes active. Let's start by making some further modifications to the waveform to give a clearer example. We can now undo a few times and redo a few times. The Normalize button allows you to fully utilize the range provided on your oscilloscope output to give you the best possible detail out of the waveform you wish to generate. If only half the range is used, like in this case, then half the detail will be lost. By clicking on the Normalize button, we utilize that whole range. If however your waveform is not symmetrical then you will not be able to utilize the full range as doing so you will lose your correct scaling. In such a case the normalize button gives you the best possible range without compromising the scaling. So if we had a waveform that goes from minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.3 Clicking on the Normalize button will extend it from minus 1 to plus 0 0.6 of the AWG editor. Changes have also been made to the PS Data file formats. You can now have thumbnail previews. You can also see larger images on the details plane if you click on these data files. You'll also notice that some files do not have thumbnails. This is because they were saved with an older version of PicoScope 6. You can however upgrade them to the latest file format by simply right-clicking, selecting Convert, 
all waveforms and then PS data. You now have the option to either override by clicking yes or create a copy by selecting no. So let's create a copy. As you can see, the copied file now appears with a thumbnail preview. By now you will have noticed the new context menu Print and Convert command. Print obviously allows you to print, whilst Convert allows you to change to all other formats available within the Picoscope 6 software, like CSV, Text, GIF, Bitmap, PS Data, MATLAB, and PNG. You can also choose to convert all waveforms, this will create multiple files, or the current waveform in a buffer. Let's try an example by choosing all waveforms and convert to a CSV. So if I select right click, convert all waveforms, CSV, This will take a bit of time to convert. It's worth noting at this point that an icon appears on the system tray showing that the conversion is taking place. We can cancel this at any point by right clicking and selecting cancel operation. As you can see the icon has now disappeared and files have been generated. Another example I would like to demonstrate is the convert to animated GIF which is a great little feature as this allows you to view all the waveforms in a buffer as an animation. So let's try this out. I'll choose this sweep data file. So we right click, convert, all waveforms and then to animated GIF. This will take a few minutes to complete. And now that the icon disappears we can now look at the animated GIF. You'll notice at the bottom right hand corner the number of frames that have been captured in the buffers. You can also access all these commands via the command prompt. So if I type in picoscope forward slash question mark and press enter This brings up a list of all the commands. You can access this from anywhere as it's stored in the path environment variable. This concludes this video on the latest features of Picoscope 6. Thank you.